is Sunday, November 28th. And this video is just a follow up to my multi part Craigslist domination series. Um, I posted a while back that I'm going to basically put this multi multi part series together. And I'm also giving away the software that I use for Craigslist now. And um, all you have to do is leave a comment to be entered. And what I got here is 13 comments total. Antonio, Antonio posted twice. Um, so 12 unique comments. And the easiest way is basically Antonio, uh, at least this Facebook comment, is going to be number one. Then Vicky, this is comment number two, and so on. And let's just go to random.org. I just need a random number between number uh, one and 12. And here we go, drum a roll. Number three. So who is that? Winner number three is Timothy. Lonhart. So yeah, Tim, I will get with you via Facebook and get you your software. Congratulations. And right now what I'm going to do is just do a quick little walkthrough on um, just on the software overall and what it can do. So, you know, here's just a random Craigslist post that I picked out. I'm pretty sure we're all familiar with it by now. Um, what this software can do is it can pull email addresses from Craigslist and it can pull phone numbers from Craigslist. So everyone doesn't put their phone number in, but as you see, this guy did. And everyone doesn't put their, well, most people don't put their real email address on Craigslist because you're going to get spammed, um, most likely. So most people use the cloaked email that Craigslist offers. As you see, this is an example up here. Um, so anyway, this can pull the cloaked one. It can filter out the cloaked ones. It can pull the real emails, or it can filter out the real emails and only go with the cloaked ones. However, with the cloaked email addresses, Craigslist kind of, kind of got smart, I think, over the last, since like two months ago. You can't send multiple emails to a cloaked email, a Craigslist cloaked email address, because they'll see that it's coming from you know one person and um, I think they escrow all your emails after like five but uh, there's actually a way around that but I'm not gonna cover that in this video so stay tuned for that um, anyway so here's the software right here and as you see you can basically search any Craigslist city internationally for this example I'm just pulling up uh, I got St. Louis already selected and you can search any category on Craigslist. For this example, I'm just going to select um, let's apartments and housing. So you got all these options over here, which are pretty much self-explanatory. And just I'll just uh, pull a few here. You see in the bottom right-hand corner, it's pulling, or it's indexing. Uh, various pages and uh, we'll just pause for there export the data and save it if we go here there we go so I don't know how many that is I think it said 200 so look at all these email. I mean, um, look at all these phone numbers that I scraped from Craigslist in a matter of seconds. So you may say, so what? Well, what you could do is let's. I mean, let's just um, brainstorm together here. What can we do with all these phone numbers? Well, you could. They're all related to apartments. You know, people that have an apartment for rent. You know, a lot of these people are landlords. I'm sure some of these people are agents. But in any way you could send out a let's say a text message to all these people that may say um, I don't know 
maybe it's something specific for landlords that you have. Maybe you have some houses to wholesale for landlord that uh, that landlords may be interested in. You can send a text message that sends them to your website or sends them to a squeeze page or um, something like that. Or maybe if maybe if you wanted to target the realtors that are listing houses for for rent, maybe you'd have something specific to realtors like uh, you know maybe some specific text message that says uh, I'll pay double commission or I don't I don't know whatever so anyway the point is you got all these phone numbers that you know are real estate related and even more specifically they're specifically related to real estate in St. Louis um, rental properties in St. Louis so the possibilities are endless there so then you got services uh, such as call fire right import those those phone numbers into call fire bam send out a blast text message or if you don't want to do that maybe you want to do a voice broadcast import those phone numbers into call fire and you voice broadcast all of those numbers just a short recording that says hey I'm John Doe and uh, I have houses for sale in the area I saw that you had a house for rent blah 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 I don't know, call me back for more details. I don't know. So anyway, you kind of get the picture. So, I'm going to keep this short. So that's it for now. Uh, stay tuned for part two. <laughs>